I think once I just, I get home and I'm with my daughter, then maybe things will start to feel real to me. It's been eight months since this Canadian mother last held her little girl. They were separated so the four-year-old could come to Canada and get out of a detention camp for families of ISIS militants. Now, a reunion is imminent on Canadian soil. I hope I'm given the opportunity to stay in my daughter's life and um, just make amends. The woman left Canada in 2014 and ended up in the camp in northeastern Syria. She won't say if her intent was to join the Islamic State, but her lawyer insists she was manipulated into going. She has been uh, cooperating with law enforcement for the last two years. Uh, not only has she been speaking to the RCMP, but she's also spoken to the FBI. The Canadian government has issued her emergency travel documents. She's expected to return next week, but it's not clear if she will face charges. Last year, Human Rights Watch estimated there were around 40 Canadian women and children not charged with any crime living in similar camps. Ottawa has been criticized for leaving them there, including by this retired U.S. diplomat who helped the mother and daughter in this case. The women in the camps and children live in tents. They're freezing cold in the winter. Uh, they are fire hazards. Uh, sometimes the fires are set by radical women. This mother says she isn't worried about those left behind. Not all of us have the same stories, and um, the fact that I was able to have this opportunity out of everybody to leave the camp and to make it back to Canada shows that my story is different. If the woman is charged for traveling abroad to join a terrorist group, her lawyer says he has a robust defense prepared. Travis Stanrush, CBC News, Ottawa.